Lawmakers don't give executive orders as often as presidents do, but today Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland did just that to put the wheels in motion of his Memphis 3.0 plan. Years in the making and somewhat controversial, it's a long-term plan aimed at changing the way the city develops. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews is local in Memphis. For the future of a city, you need to make plans. And Memphis 3.0 is a plan for neighborhoods like Midtown. Executive orders are common in Washington, not so common in Memphis. The order caps off our administrative review uh, because you know we play a part in implementing this plan. And this cements that Memphis 3.0 uh, will be used in every agency, every division of government. Now, we don't control land use. That's the city council's purview, so we still want them to adopt it. This brought out the loudest critic of Memphis 3.0. We were first to tell you about Carnita Atwater, how she lives in Germantown, and her details about her plan for an area of North Memphis that included a resort hotel. She's not happy about this. You got to be careful when a mayor take it upon himself to do something disagrees You got to be careful about that. Atwater has filed a lawsuit, and what a lawsuit. It's against a list of people that includes the governor, both city and county mayors, and the downtown Memphis commission for $10 billion. She says the Memphis 3.0 plan discriminates against minorities, but developer Roshan Austin disagrees. I understand the experiences of many people who are opposed to the adoption of the plan. There's truth to that. There's federal policy and local policy that has devastated African-American communities like urban renewal. There are also terroristic acts that have imposed, been imposed upon people uh, that have taken their land from them. This is not that. Memphis City Council members have delayed voting on Memphis 3.0 for the last month. Even with the mayor signing off, the city council still has an awful lot of work to do before this thing gets into effect, if it does get into effect. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.